Hey, I'm Andrika, and welcome to Tea Time. Trust is a firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. Now, I believe in Jesus. I believe that when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. I also believe that Jesus' sacrifice allowed me to be healed in my body, mind, and spirit. And the finished work of the cross gave me the right to have everything I need to live abundantly in the earth in this lifetime. Now, I thought I believed that part, but I've, as of a couple days ago, I had this dream that was very frustrating and it made me question whether or not I really do believe that. In the dream, I was with Jesus, who was leading me, my family, and friends through some incredibly dangerous obstacles. He would tell us to do something crazy, like at one point he said for us to walk through a group of armed guards to get to a gate. And all the guards around were shooting people and keeping people from going through the gate, like on either side, nobody could get through. And I told Jesus, like, we can't do that. They got guns, they wanna kill us. And every time I'd say something like that, he would just ignore it and start walking or going towards the obstacle. I had to choose whether or not I was going to stay where I was or follow him into the danger. Every time he would get right through the situation with no problem, no concern, no hesitation, nothing. It was just easy. It happened like five times in the dream. It was just one scenario after the other of him being awesome and mighty and me doubting him. At one point in the dream, I literally said, man, Jesus is hardcore. If I just stay with him, I'll always get through stuff. And immediately after that, <laughs> Jesus sent me on an errand to go pick up a little girl, her playmate and her mother and then to meet them all back at the designated hiding place. So I did that. I went and got the little girl and, and everybody. I went back to the hiding place. I put the little girl and her friend upstairs in a little small room that Jesus had set up for her. And in the room, there was a small table, like a little preschool table with little preschool chairs. They had colors and crayons and markers and snacks and just everything they could want in that little bitty room to keep them happy and I was intrigued about how thoughtful Jesus was. I went back down the stairs and while I was there, I noticed that there weren't very many hiding places in this room. It was like a big room lined with cabinets and I knew that we weren't all gonna be able to fit in these little cabinets. So I was just standing there wondering if Jesus knew that the place didn't have any large hiding spots. And like, where are we going to hide? So I said, okay, well, when he comes back, I'm just going to remind him because he probably didn't think of that. So dumb. So just then my husband comes back in, all the guys come back in and then Jesus comes in and he's got these two guards with him. And so I'm just about to go ask him about the hiding places. And he tells the guards to close the door and they reach up and um, grab a hold of the, the door that was like in the ceiling and they pull it down. And I had never seen it. I had never seen it. And it made so much sense. I was like, oh, we're not gonna need the cabinets because there's no need for that. This makes way more sense. But then I couldn't see out the door. And so I was like, how are we gonna know when to leave this place? And Jesus put his hand on the door and the door became translucent and we could see out, but nobody could see in. And at that point in the dream, I realized that I had been doubting him the whole time, trying to find flaws in his plans, but there weren't any flaws to his plans. He was he planned everything perfectly and he had proven himself time and time again. And for some reason, I was making a decision, a choice, I was choosing to doubt him. And when I woke up from the dream, I was so disturbed because my attitude and actions didn't make any kind of sense. And I had to repent and ask the Lord to forgive me for distrusting him. Now here's a side note. 
Jesus knows everything I know, but I don't know everything he knows. And I won't know everything he knows in this lifetime. And that's why I have to trust him. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Now the scripture says that we overcome by the word of our testimony and this is tea time testimony. So I asked the Lord to remind me of a testimony of when I trusted him. I was reminded of a time when my husband and I were broke. We had two little boys and a new baby and we didn't qualify for any public assistance or anything. Both of our parents were having their own financial struggles at the time. So they didn't really have much to be able to help us with either. So um, we couldn't get help from our families or the government. <laughs> so we were pretty much out of luck. And there was one day towards the end of the month that was, was particularly hard because all I wanted to do was take my boys to have some ice cream. And I asked the Lord and I, it was really simple. And I just said, Lord, you know, let me, I want to give them some ice cream. Let, give me a way to get these boys some ice cream. So later that evening, we went to a Bible study. And after the Bible study, one of the guys came over to my husband and sh shook his hand and he put $20 in his hand. And he said, the Lord wanted me to give you this why don't you take the boys to go get some ice cream? Like, how specific? How specific is that? So my eyes were like all big, you know, and my husband was telling him thank you. And, um, uh, you know, they talked a little bit. And when we got in the car, man, we were just like, wow, God. We asked him specifically for some money to take the boys out for ice cream. And he gave us money to take the boys to get some ice cream. So we did, we took the boys to get ice cream. But I, that testimony is just to tell you that he thinks of everything. And he's made a way for the most specific details to come out and to come to life. His plans are intricately designed to the point that if we just hang with him, we will need nothing, nothing. If we stick with him, we'll have everything we need and more. We'll have protection and stability and friendship and love and peace and joy, shelter, everything, everything. He is trustworthy. So my advice to you today is to go ahead and ask when you have a need. Ask him. But after you ask him, start to thank him for the answer. Train your heart and your mind to trust the Lord. Fully trust the Lord. And trust him for the good outcome that's coming even before you see it. Our God is faithful and trustworthy. So trust me. I'm Andrika. I'll see you next time with another one.